As we know, we can schedule data directly in Revit. Um, Revit scheduling capabilities are really, really powerful. Now you can see this very simple uh, level here from the Lever House um, in New York. Uh, you'll see here that we have all our rooms placed with tags, um, and simply we can go through and we've got a schedule and we can schedule out um, all the rooms. Now, what if you n not necessarily want to manage the 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 data directly um, in Revit? Maybe you want to be passing that information out to Excel. Well, I've already given you one demonstration of Accelerate, where I can pass data out to Excel and then drive it back into change geometry. Now, what I'm going to do is a very simple exercise um, of ex exporting uh, data to Excel and then linking it to another Excel spreadsheet. Now, by no means am I an Excel expert, but you know, this is more of a workflow that I'm interested in sort of presenting to you. So what we're going to do, we'll go to our Accelerate tool, we'll choose Export Category. Um, now I've already got a save configuration here which is just going to pick up the rooms. Um, so it's just going to look at the room category, if I just scroll this down here, in fact the quick way to look at this, if we just type rooms, okay, we'll find that we can save this. So in fact, actually, let's just go through this exercise. Let's remove rooms here. Uh, we'll select rooms and we'll choose save as uh, room data. Okay, so that's our configuration. Okay, and what I'm going to do is choose export and we'll say Revit data. Well, let's say Revit room data and we'll save this and then we'll go through the process of exporting uh, all the rooms and all the parameter data associated with the rooms from the model. Take a little bit of time, obviously the more complicated the project, the more rooms, the longer it takes. Okay, let's uh, open up that Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so here we have our room data um, with all the information exported from Revit. Let's just keep that like that and what we're going to do is we're going to do a new blank worksheet or workbook rather let's just uh, pop this guy over here and we're going to name this one here save this put it on the desktop and we will call him Revit Schedule okay now, as I said, my, my Excel spread uh, sheet skills are fairly limited, um, so you may already know how to do this. But it just, I'm just more interested in showing the, the the process and the linking process, which I think is quite useful. So let's come up here, and all I do is I'm going to go choose. Let's actually start with number. I'm going to select number and scroll all the way down. Right mouse click, and I'm going to choose copy. Come over to Excel choose paste special and we'll choose paste link and you can see here it brings uh, the number column over and it's referencing that Excel spreadsheet um, and the cell okay so let's just go back here drop the selection let's get the name choose copy and bring this over here paste link again And finally, let's just scroll over in my data columns and we will find area. Select all the area and bring that down. And we'll copy this and link it. Okay, so if we just maximize, in fact, we can close this one down. We don't need this anymore. Let's just come into here. Let's kind of format this guy and maybe we would just uh, let's just put borders to it and let's kind of make this yellow or something like that okay so n not a great demonstration of Excel skills but that's what really what we're doing here okay so you could format in this whatever way you want uh, you could pass this on to a colleague or, or, or whatever but the cool thing about it is this, this understanding of this link here. So I'm just going to come along and save this. 
OK, and I'll close down and we'll go back to Revit and maybe you need to start to make some changes in Revit. OK, and we're just going to move the wall over. OK, and maybe we've realised that the equipment area is too big. Um, this storage area here needs to be adjusted. We'll move this wall, which obviously will impact these restroom areas. So let's bring it over here. Um, and maybe let's just come down here. We've decided that these offices need to be a little bit bigger. So again, you can see all the areas will update. So what I'm going to do now is then choose export category, and we'll choose room data. I'll choose export, and we're going to overwrite um, our Revit room data. Again, it will go through the process with all those updated information. It will pass it out. Okay, when it's finished um, exporting, let's go. We're not even going to bother opening up the room data here. We're going to go straight to our Revit schedule and we'll open this. Automatically update enable links. Now, what should happen is when we enable this. Did you see all our um, updated information was being read um, from that room data Excel spreadsheet? So a very simple but kind of powerful process of being able to pass data out from Revit using Accelerate. Um, I see a lot of value in this. Um, now, by no means, as I said, as am I an Excel spreadsheet, and I'm not even a database expert for that matter. Um, so there's obviously you could use things like um, DB Link. Um, using access but I think for most people certainly small firms who maybe no, don't necessarily have the skills in database um, linking will, you know will certainly understand how you can link data with Excel and Revit so again the accelerate tool has a, a lot of uh, power and an opportunity certainly as we go into a more data centric um, BIM process moving forward